You know, the world we live in is filled with turmoil, division, and war and strife. What can we do to turn all of that around? Well, Bupendra Kumar Modi is challenging all of us to get this, envision living as a global citizen, disregarding gender, nationality, religion, and race, thereby establishing what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. called a beloved society, living beyond the dream. When you are a global citizen, you are talking of how to change the world. And I think today the world needs to be changed. Bupendra Kumar Modi, better known as Dr. B.K. Modi, is a successful billionaire who is on a mission to change the world. He's the founder of the Global Citizens Forum. He created it, hoping to tear down the walls that divide us. He brings people together to connect cultures and nations. We are all brothers and sisters. Yeah. We are coming from the same heritage of humanity. Modi says his quest for global unity started many years ago as a child growing up in India. I was born in a very rich family, but uh, I was born with a lot of siblings. So I had to carve out my own path. The path he carved out for himself was to engage the world. He attended boarding schools where he met people from diverse backgrounds. It prepared him for college at University of Southern California, where he discovered that people everywhere share a common hope to live in pursuit of happiness. That discovery changed his perspective on how to do business and to live. So I became a, a person who started bringing new technologies initially from U.S. to India. So I brought the first copier, I brought the first fax, I brought the first computer, I brought the first mobile service, and so on and on. As his multi-platform business known as Spice Global flourished, Modi became more successful, ultimately becoming a billionaire. But Modi desires something greater than monetary wealth. He wants to be rich in helping others succeed. My dream is to see one world and uh, to live as a one family. Today the world is living, trying to be one market. Where in market is the survival of fittest. Modi's effort to make the world better is recognized by the United Nations. The organization recently appointed Modi as the coordinator for India's Millennium World Peace Summit. Modi also presented a global citizen forum conference at the UN, which focused on globalization and sustainable development for underserved communities. The UN was the hope for peace, that hope is dying. You know, you talk of hope. Where is the hope? The hope is only from UN. And UN has become a hopeless. <laughs> so we have to bring the hope back. We cannot uh, let the hope die. Dr. Modi is working hard to save hope for the world. He uses his own money to sponsor forums around the globe to bring people of all faiths, political persuasions, and ethnicity together to determine how they will work together to sustain the development of the world beyond the dream. And for his efforts, uh, Dr. B.K. Modi is the recipient of numerous humanitarian awards, including the British Japan Friendship Award for World Peace and the annual award for exemplary community service from the Indo-American Chamber of Commerce. He's doing a big work, and it, but it's a Herculean task to try yeah. to bring hope to a world. As he said, the U.N. is hopeless. Well, a lot of people, I think, would agree with him on that. Um, but unfortunately the, the UN is in charge of having to solve all these conflicts or at least attempt to in unfortunately efforts, but it's good to see that a, a human being with billions of dollars is using his own money to make a difference yeah absolutely Very good I love to see that